single leg RDL using a kettlebell is a great variation of the RDL. There really isn't much difference in the movement itself. However, obviously you're holding a kettlebell, so it allows you the option to use both hands at a time to hold the kettlebell. The benefit of that being it forces you to keep a flatter back. I prefer still holding it with one hand. If you want to hold it with two hands, that's totally fine. If you are a beginner at this exercise, I highly recommend grabbing a wall because the difference of this and a standard RDL with two legs is it's going to challenge your balance and your stabilizers because you're just going to be on one leg. So if you use two hands, pretty simple, keep it right in front of you. If you use one hand, use the same hands that has the foot planted on the ground. And then the focus of the movement here is shifting the hips back. So we are not worrying about bending the back. We're not worrying about anything else except shooting that hip back, which is gonna naturally allow the body to hinge. It's like closing a door behind you. You're not worried about keeping the hips in place and extending the back as much as you can. You're worried about shooting those hips back, 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 back. Once they can't go back anymore, then you're done. So we're gonna start with one arm, which is gonna be the same side of the foot that's planted. We're gonna keep a nice, good posture, so chest is up. And I like keeping the weight more in front. All you're gonna be doing is shooting those hips back. You're gonna notice the leg is naturally popping up. I'm not lifting the leg up myself. I'm just shooting the hips back and the leg is naturally going with it. We're gonna get a full stretch in this hamstring. Should feel a really, really nice stretch. And then we're gonna pop up. Make sure you squeeze the glute at the top. So we're gonna come down. Make sure the biggest focus with one arm is that you still keep the torso flat. We're not spinning as we come down. We're keeping the chest parallel to the floor. Hips, 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 hips. Up, nice stretch. Really nice stretch, contraction. And then if you are going to do two hands, it's gonna be the same exact movement, except you're holding the kettlebell with two hands. Nice full stretch, nice contraction. And then if balance helps, you can put a little bit of weight on your toe in between reps. I like to try to keep the foot up, but if we're just working on getting started, we can hit a rep, tap the ground. Rep, tap the ground. And the last focus is just keeping those hips shooting back and not worrying about bending the back. 